Hello and welcome to another episode. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to sharpen your lawnmower blades. As you can see here, I have the Ryobi 20 inch brushless mower. This is the same mower I use in all my videos. So as for the tools, I'm gonna to be using this power drill just to make the removal easier. Got the socket already and I have a wire breast attachment. I'll show you what that's for in a bit. So first things first, you're going to want to remove the battery. If you have a gas mower, you remove the spark plug boot. This mower also has a key. I could do that. The blades won't spin without it, but I never take it out because I will lose it. Alternatively, this mower will not turn on if I don't have any one of these three. I don't have any one of these three attached right now, but Safety precautions, no battery. All right, so we're just gonna flip the mower over on its side or whatever side makes you more comfortable. So this blade is held in by just one nut. Gonna undo that real quick. Now I like to keep track of all the pieces that come along with it. So there's this metal washer, plastic washer, and then the blade. You wanna keep track of which direction they go. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of grass stuck on the deck of the mower. It just builds up over time. That is what I have the brass attachment for. Just gonna slap that bad boy on and wipe it all away. Or brush it all away, I should say. Now to save me the embarrassment, I'm going to fast forward it because I did not realize until later that the attachment works best when the drill is running at full speed. So I kind of just make a fool out of myself for a bit, but uh, moving on. You can see the, the attachment does its job pretty well. I mean, it's just grass. I'm not trying to wipe away metal or anything. Uh, it's real cheap. I got it at Walmart. Definitely recommend it if uh, you're trying to clean out your mower decks and you have grass that's built up. It's really stuck on there. And there you have it. Nice clean mower. Anyways, moving on to the reason I made this video. So I'm going to secure the blade on a vise. And the tool I will be using to sharpen is an angle grinder with a flap disc attachment. Now, as you can see, the flap disc has flaps, if you will, that all go in one direction. And it's supposed to only spin in that one direction, same as the angle grinder. Um, a flap disc is mainly used for finishing metal, but it takes off just enough metal that it's the perfect disc for sharpening a lawnmower blade. So I'm going to be using this in a smooth one pass right to left motion. If you go left to right, it doesn't matter. The whole point behind this is to just get rid of the burrs and take off just a bit of metal to sharpen the blade. Almost immediately, you'll be able to tell that you took metal off of the blade so now I'm going to go around the back and just clean up those little burrs and make the edge a little bit more fine. Lawnmower blades are beveled only on one side because that is the most effective way for cutting grass. So you're going to want to make sure that you don't go too hard on the back side and you're just cleaning off the burrs, finishing it up a bit. And then, uh, so I'm just going to go back and forth a couple of times until I feel that the blade is sharp and it's it's going to be pretty quick all it takes is a couple of passes on each side and you're going to have a blade way sharper than the one you pulled off the mower so just for reference this is what the blade looked like before i sharpened it you can see a pretty big chip on that one and you can see a bunch of dings and bends on that one 
All right, and then you flip it over, do the same to the other side, and it should look like this. Now you can see a way smoother, cleaner edge. Here's another picture, a little bit closer, still a little bit of burrs, but way better than it was before, especially compared to this. I mean, I, was, I probably chopped over some branches or something with that. Now, the most important part at the end of this is to get a cylindrical object, such as this pencil, and you're gonna wanna make sure the blade is balanced. And the most important part is to make sure that if you take a video, that the blade is out of the frame so that your viewers don't know what's going on. But I digress. Let me explain a little more on this. Um, the whole point of this is to make sure the blade is balanced. If the blade was not balanced, one side of the blade would tip further, just like a scale balance. If that does happen, the part that is tilting lower, you're gonna wanna sharpen that one some more, take some more metal off of it. And you just keep doing that in fine amounts until the blade is balanced. Now, typically it's never gonna be perfect, but it's also never gonna be that bad unless you took a big chunk off of it. So usually around the first go, you're good to go. And this leads us on to the reassembly. Now this mower is pretty easy. It's got holes with different shapes so that you really can't mess up how to line them up. Most mowers are like this. You see one is circular, the other is half circle. And uh, it's kind of just, you know, like when you were a kid, putting the wrong shapes in the wrong holes. You can't mess it up. The important part though is the spacers or washers that you took off. Those do have only one way to go. But just like the mower blade, there is only one way they can go. You can see the shape of this hole isn't a perfect circle. It's more of an oval. So there's only one way it can go on. Uh, if it doesn't go on, try a different way. Or consult the owner's manual. No one ever does it anymore. Anyways, back to reinstalling. Make sure it's good and tight. Don't overdo it, but also don't underdo it. You don't want that blade flying off as you're mowing the grass. That would not be good. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys later.